This is Twit. Did you read? I bet you did, because you seem like that. The, the, that the, this kind of people. Apple's tech. Uh, reports on the Mac Pro and the Mac Pro Display uh, yep. XDR. You, you, I, of course. I tried, but cover to cover, <laughs> right? I made so much coffee, I, Leo. I actually started, but I couldn't get very far. Renee, how far did you actually get in? Oh, I read them. I read through them. Oh, I can't oh, say I understood just, everything, but I read through them. There's so much technology, te like technical jargon in there. Um, yes. it's a it's a PDF, uh, which we will now uh, proceed to do a dramatic reading of. <laughs> so, uh, Patrick Stewart voice? Introduction. Yes. Patrick Stewart voice. Introduction. Uh, Mac the Pro was developed for the singular one. purpose. As you can see, <laughs> the peak of the of the red curve. Built with you know what? I would pay somebody to like um, audible this. <laughs> really? I would, yeah, I would yeah I'll listen that. to it in the car. <laughs> I wonder yeah. if Apple would uh, get mad at me if I recorded it. Oh, you should do it. I will. Do it. What How kind of voice should I do? If you don't, I will. If they try, to, if they try <laughs> to tell you to take it down, time. it would make it more popular. I think it should Can be dramatic. Can you remember to say though. aluminium, Leo? Yeah, I'll say aluminium. <laughs> Up to 28 core Intel Xeon W processor. <laughs> <laughs> With over <laughs> six different drive bays. Oh, you're going to do the Sean? All for perfect uh, he's, expandability. He's going to do the Sean Connery version. We should do a whole bunch of versions. Oh, uh, yes, indeed. I'll do the Chewbacca version. What the hell is that damn teddy bear doing in this studio? Mac Pro? Mac Pro was designed. Mac Pro? I'm not Tackle sure the most demanding pro workouts designed it is. <laughs> What's happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is all we have left, Lori Gill. Please don't <laughs> <take it. laughs> So did you learn, Renee, anything from... I mean, actually, this. if I had a Mac Pro, I would, I would enjoy this. I'd print it out, yeah. tape it to the side. It, you know, did you learn anything that we didn't know? I mean, there's just lots of detail. Up until now, we were mostly getting information from people who bought them and either wrote about them on blogs or podcasted about them or YouTubed about them. And they could make a lot of educated guesses. And some of them were really good educated guesses about what exactly Apple was doing. And while they don't totally open the kimono here, because Apple still doesn't explain why, like why they made the choices they made uh, all the time, they do explain a lot of the underlying technologies. And it is pretty much what we expected. It is a miracle of engineering that applies to maybe 0.1% of computer users. Uh, you know, there is an expansion slot utility on the new Mac Pro that explains yeah. how to take advantage of the the fabric, the switch fabric of PCI Express. I mean, I guess if you had a Mac Pro, if you're somebody like Alex who needs, you know, a lot of bandwidth throughput, this would be uh, useful to see and understand. Or I'm blanking on his name, the scientist who did the review, Gruber linked to it the other day, where he, he was doing modeling of wind uh, wind simulations, and he said it used to take him like a, a room full of Mac Pros, he had to put a, a window air conditioner in the room just to be in the same room with them, and this ran in, I forget what he said, but it was something like 14 hours on the Mac Pro, never got noisy, fans never were, were annoying, and it was 28 cores and 900 and something uh, gigabytes of RAM, and it did what a supercomputer used to do for him so he was really happy with it but again like that's that's the specific user that it was built for yeah and the 46 pages including footnotes uh of this document is something that somebody who owns a mac pro well, and wants to get the maximum out of it or probably someone would want or someone looking at it or someone trying to sell it to right. their to their boss about right. why we should get it here's the paperwork to, to show that because right what this is a communication to professionals that we didn't give up on you because there were a lot of us that were like, well, we're just going to have to go to PCs for everything because, and a lot of people have, because they just didn't have the horsepower. The Mac Pro wasn't ever going to do that. The iMac, even the iMac Pro wasn't going to get there. And so a lot, a lot of people were looking at what happens after the Mac platform for them in the professional area. And now this says, hey, you don't have to go. You know, this you're right, because there is some sell in this. Here's this paragraph from the display uh, document. Apple yeah. Pro Display XDR reimagines the potential of a reference display, overcoming many of the limitations and delivering incredible front of screen quality, plus every feature requested by pros, all at an accessible price point. That's a They're little forward way of saying, wonderful. yeah, right. But it also answers some questions because there were like people were, were confound, like conflating whether it was mini LED or, or right. regular LED right. and whether it was single layer or dual layer. And this just lays all of that out at least. Yeah. Nothing that a competitor would uh, use to try to, you know, make a competing product, but yeah. enough for the buyer and the potential buyer to understand better what's going on. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I think this is this is actually a great. Maybe they thing should to do have. more of those. They should do one for the MacBook Pro. Absolutely, oh, I love them. to just do these love for any that. any high end gear that they make. Just the keyboard alone. What the hell's going on? What, and you make know? a video <laughs> and a podcast. We don't. We shouldn't well, have to wait for iFixit to buy and take one apart to get this kind right. of information. Right. But uh, Alex, I, I think you're completely right. I think uh, there used to be a time where we used to make fun of them, but during the rollout, there'd be like the the twenty the two minute sizzle reel from engineers and Sir Joni explaining about the engineering behind it and what they put into it. I would, given the amount of work and creativity that goes into hardware design and the fact that each design and each choice is part of a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, I would love it if Apple just did a, a 10 or 15-minute mini documentary on the technical side Absolutely. of every single product that they do, yep. all, all the way from the design, all the way down to being able to say, not just saying, we think we're deleting the, the we're deleting the headphone port because of, of courage, but saying, well, here are exactly what we get, what we can give you in return for this. And here's the decisions we made. As a matter of fact, here's what we, here's the problems we had in the iPhone 6 and in including the, the headphone port. I I feel as though Apple misses a lot of opportunities to tell its own story. And at some point, they're such an important company for so many reasons. At some point, they are going to be studied and well, from and also, academics yep. and also just people who want to get inspiration for their own engineering. Well, you're also you're competing with uh, you're not competing for price. You're competing for mind share. And so it yep. is really important that you get mm, every you, good when you educate everybody because they're not they they you have to explain all artwork if you buy a million dollars for a piece of paper or, or 200 million dollars for a piece of paper it's because of the story behind it you know that's that's <laughs> it's why not that's just why you're doing a banana taped to a wall <laughs> there's also it's a consequence of not exactly. doing this which is that we and others have to guess speculate and yes. may get it wrong right yep. uh so yep. uh, why wouldn't and they have you a want co-workflows their... team some of the best people in the world who could knock out those documentaries if exactly. they greenlit them yeah <laughs> yes exactly well there it's this is the white papers are a, a beginning anyway i think a good start yeah. So, yep. yeah so thank you and apple we want to encourage you to do more of this more please no one's and gonna... I did see some of the members of those teams, you know, retweeting the link with with an awesome amount of pride, and not all of them get yeah. to share their work Absolutely. that often. So well, that's do, another benefit, like, right? Yeah. And it, it maybe they could put some names in here. There aren't any, but it definitely credits those teams yep. and their hard work and their innovation. And they should people need to know what they've done. Yeah. Also, all, all of us on this panel know know how good a writing staff they have, right? <laughs> because yeah, most of, a they, lot of our friends they stole yeah. all of our. <laughs> they're yeah, all there our, now. Our left journalism, and so yeah, I mean, they could. It'd be wonderful to see them produce these sort of documents in house and just just give us stuff to read. Like after we're after we get get down from our endorphin high from ooh new shiny ooh look benchmarks ooh look sixty thousand tabs. Sit down on our commute and just read about everything that went into this thing. It's, it's, I miss that.